pretty much everything you need to know about taming and using a snow owl in Ark Survival Evolved. Snow owls can only be located within the snow biome of the Ark Extinction DLC map. They can be found pretty much anywhere within the biome, given the fact that, you know, they're a bird. Just listen for the Harry Potter theme music and echoes of vomiting to bag yourself one of Sly Cooper's villain rejects. So, how do you go about taming yourself a big fluffy owl friend, you might ask? Well, snow owls follow Ark's standard knockout rules, so use your best means possible to make it sleepy. It should be noted that snow owls take less damage from headshots, and this of course translates to reduced torpor damage, so aim for the body when attempting to knock it out. Snow owls have low torpor levels and will knock out fairly easily, but there are a few methods that can be useful when attempting to trank it. Method number one is to lure it into a structure, similar to an Argent Trap, and knock it out within the confines of the structure. This method is useful for preventing it from flying away when it's close to being unconscious, and also helps to protect it from other creatures once it's knocked out. Method number two is to use an existing tamed snow owl to freeze the wild one you're attempting to tame, then hopping off the back of it and tranking the wild one. You can repeat this process of freezing and tranking until the snow owl falls unconscious. As you can see from this footage though, the process of freezing and then shooting a creature seems very glitchy at best, and oftentimes the thing you're trying to shoot will change positions, or the damage won't occur altogether. I wouldn't use this method, it's really bad. But a lot of people talk about using it, so I included it in the video. And finally, method number three is to simply kite the snow owl while you're attempting to knock it out. This can be effective a lot of the time, given their low torpor levels, however you risk taking damage from its hits, other creatures attacking you, or the snow owl flying away once it's close to being unconscious, so I wouldn't recommend this method over the first two. Bullos used to work on snow owls when Extinction was first released, however they're no longer effective with the latest versions. So once you have yourself a poofy little pseudo furby, you need to slam some food in that or its mouth. No one really knows where the food actually goes when you put things inside of your creatures in Ark. It's one of life's mysteries, like the origin of our existence or where the f***ing television remote is. A Snow Owl's top three foods are... Superior Augmented Kibble Argent, Megalosaur, Spino, or Tapajara Kibble And Raw Mutton. Just make sure not to feed them after midnight, don't get them wet, and keep them out of direct sunlight. Wait, that's a Mogwai. Scratch that, moving on. You shouldn't need any narcotics to keep the snow owl unconscious due to how slowly their torpor level drains, unless you're taming it with cardboard or wet car keys. So let's talk about the snow owl's functions, and oh ho ho, boy does this little puffball have some! Snow owls have a left mouse button attack that does moderate damage, a right mouse button freeze ability which heals itself, the rider, and any other creatures within the adjacent area, a control key infrared, oh my god it's like predator, what? A spacebar liftoff key, which causes the snow owl to enter flight mode. An in-flight dependent dive bomb attack, activated by steering the snow owl downwards. And an in-flight ice bomb attack, activated by pressing the right mouse button while in the air. A snow owl's flying mechanics are very similar to that of a griffin's. It will glide when slightly angled downwards, and can pick up some fairly fast speeds if the angle increases. It also has the responsive lean mechanics like that of a griffin, and they have higher base speeds than the Argentavis and even the Pteranodon when in their glide mode. It's worth noting though, that the snow owl is not capable of picking up other players or creatures. Snow owls will produce snow owl pellets when they defecate. Out of their mouths. Anyways, these can be used in place of traditional fertilizer, providing 50,000 units of nitrogen, or they can be fed to gotchas to provide the temporary production buff. So what is a snow owl's main use? Besides decorating my finely sanded hardwood floors. Well, the snow owl is actually a very versatile creature and can encompass a few different roles, namely that of a travel mount or a support mount. If a general travel mount is what you're looking for, you want to invest mainly into health, stamina, and weight, but stamina is certainly the golden ticket here. Health is of course important for survival, and higher weight means you can carry more, but stamina is used for flight, attacks, and more importantly, the snow owl's freeze abilities. Their fast flight speed, high stamina pull, healing abilities, and thermal vision makes the snow owl a great traveling companion. If a support mount is what you're looking for, you want to invest mainly into health and stamina, once again putting the most emphasis on stamina. Snow owls make for great support or general usage mounts with their various capabilities. Their snow owl pellet production is great for fertilizing crops or providing gotchas with a temporary production buff. You can use the right mouse button freeze ability to quickly drain their stamina, then press the defecate key to produce snow owl pellets faster. Just be sure to keep an eye on their food levels when you're doing this. Their infrared vision is extremely useful for tracking down specific creatures to tame, or players attempting to run away. Their freeze abilities are great for healing up wild creatures that you're attempting to tame, but are too close to death to safely knock out. Their aerial ice bomb attack is also extremely useful in PvE events such as supply drops and element nodes, and is great for certain PvP situations. Alright, well that about wraps up this video, I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, please be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and leave me comments down below because I need them!